More than 25 million children and adults are living with diabetes, and most of them have type 2 or adult onset diabetes. In this month's Health Check Report, Cerise Cole heads to the Fremont Area Medical Center where doctors say in most cases the illness can be prevented and controlled. This is how we should spend at least 30 minutes of our day. But as Gary Foraker discovered, life often gets in the way. I used to work out over the lunch hour and things like that. and I didn't do that anymore. I stayed in the office and worked. He believes that, along with stress, is why he now has to monitor his blood sugar. Gary was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in his 40s. He's keeping his condition in check with medication and insulin. Dr. J. Michael Adams says a diabetes diagnosis doesn't have to be detrimental. Our initial uh, uh, treatment is lifestyle change. We, we try to get people to eat less, uh, exercise more, lose weight, uh, and uh, Sometimes that's uh, amazingly effective. But he says this is actually the hardest part. Dr. Adams says it's easier for many patients to take a pill or a daily shot than actually change the way they live. Not controlling the diabetes can cause a number of complications, from blindness and kidney failure to high blood pressure and foot amputation. So how do you know if you're at risk? If you're overweight, have abdominal fat, or a family history of diabetes, your chances are greater. Gary's diabetes was discovered during a routine checkup. 20 years later, he's still working to make healthy decisions. I watch what I eat. I try to stay active. Doctors say if more of us did that, we'd reduce our chances of ever getting the disease. In Fremont, with Gary Smolin, Cerise Cole, WOWT 6 News. Now here are some signs that your blood sugar is too high and you should see a doctor. If you experience intense hunger or thirst, weight gain or unusual weight loss, frequent urination, itchy skin, blurred vision, or numbness in your hands and feet. To avoid those symptoms, exercise not only keeps your weight in check, it lowers your blood sugar and helps your body use insulin better. A big